folks. Hello, folks. It's about uh, 4.15 or so on Thursday, January 2nd. Um, today, I did a lot of gluing and a lot of prep work for gluing up my uh, newel posts. Uh, I wrote about that, uh, the newel post project, I'll call it. Uh, I wrote about that on January 1. Um, here are some boards. They're uh, about five and a half inches wide. These are cherry boards. They aren't select or anything. But what I'll be doing is uh, gluing them together so that, for instance, if this was the face board, you'd see this and you'd see the other one on the other side but then it would be um, four or five boards glued together and you won't even see the seams on them. Uh, so I planed these down uh, yesterday. I guess today is the third. I said the second. Uh, yesterday I did a bunch of uh, planing. Uh, those right here are for stairs, steps. Uh, this stack will be for, uh, that's about uh, 13 inches high, probably 13 boards. That'll be for the uh, newel posts. So the newel posts will be solid cherry. Um, I want to show you what I did today. These are kick plates for... Uh, the French doors, and it's sandwiched in amongst all of those. Uh, well, from here you can you can see it. And uh, as I was getting ready to do this video and show you these glue ups, and there's a a top rail, and uh, now I'm. This is the last of the. This is two styles. It's the last of the styles for interior doors that are 36 inches. These end up gluing up at six and a half inches. But when I was gluing or getting ready to do this, I thought, well, people might wonder, when do you stop gluing? Or when do you stop clamping down? And I'm reminded of when Linda used to take our kids to the uh, uh, baby doctor, whatever you call them. But you know, until they're like 10 or 11 years old. And uh, he'd burn a, wor a wart off one time. And uh, she says, well, when do you know when to stop? He says, you'll know. They give you a sign. And at the time it was our oldest daughter. And uh, she started crying a little bit. He says, that's the sign. And it's sort of like that when you're gluing this up. You don't stop until you get the glue from the veneers squeezing out because then you have a sense that what you've done is um, gotten enough glue on and the, 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 uh, where the, the veneer and the core meet that there's a good glue joint there. So, uh, like I said, it's about 4.15. What I'm gonna do the rest of the day is take these shorter boards and cut them in lengths because I'll be needing to make some more kick plates and rails for interior doors. And those are gonna be pine cores. So this is uh, the cores for four doors. There's eight styles there. Down here, I have um, five kick plates and I have five 36 inch interior doors. Um, I need to make six more uh, top and middle rails because there's a, the smaller rails on the middle and the top of each of those interior doors. And these are some uh, 
rails for um, some of the other doors that we'll have. These are the styles for the door that'll be outside in the garage, going from the garage to the outside. Uh, these are kick plates and cores. And I've got to, of course, put some covering on those. So um, things are moving along. You know, I, uh, I'll show you a profile of this uh, cherry or face on. Uh, you know, taking all that cherry off, that cherry used to be probably two feet higher than this. And I've uh, eliminated a lot of that. Uh, this is a lot of maple in here and that'll be used for the uh, uh, wood countertop, the butcher block countertop. These are all the cherry boards that I have left. Uh, those three are already spoken for. I've cut down, you know, cut the edges off of some for, off of those for uh, doors. Um, this one here, this is probably the worst board I have. There's one, two, three, four uh, big knot holes. Otherwise, this wood has been uh, very clean, very pure, free of knot holes uh, and the like. So I'll use that probably maybe for some of it for cutting boards. Certainly if I can get a six foot length off of it, uh, I'll use it for... Um, the uh, back banding that I wrote about um, that is going to be used to hold glass into the door or hold um, hold pan wood panels into the door. I just got a text today. I had bought one sheet of cherry plywood because I want to see how that will work in my doors uh, and then how it will stain up. So uh, that came in today. It's a t it'll be a, my test piece. If it works good, I'll probably order another six or seven of those to do all of the interior doors. Well, that's about it. This is seven and a half minutes. Um, thanks for following our progress. Have a good day.